NHS Education for Scotland Healthcare Associated Infections Blood and Body Fluid Spillages For healthcare staff working in acute, community, care home and residential settings, dealing with blood and body fluid spillages can be a regular and challenging occurrence. Body fluids, including blood, faeces, vomit and sputum, are considered to be potential sources for blood-borne viruses, for example hepatitis B or other microorganisms. It is therefore vital that all spillages of blood and body fluids are cleaned up as soon as possible and contaminated surfaces are disinfected immediately. The NHS Scotland National Infection Prevention and Control Manual explains how to successfully manage a blood or body fluid spillage. It contains a handy algorithm to help assess and deal with a range of spillages. There are five steps necessary to successfully manage a spillage. Step 1. Cordon the spillage off. Step 2. Assess the type of spillage. The algorithm will help you here. Step 3. Collect the correct equipment. Step 4. Protect yourself. Step 5. Disinfect and clean. Following these steps ensures no harm comes to those we care for, other staff, visitors and ourselves. Using the algorithm in a clinical setting. Nuria is a nurse working in a local hospital. She checks on Brian, a patient, who is sitting in his chair beside his bed. Brian has a needle inserted into his arm to administer his medication. Nuria notices that this has become dislodged and there is a small spillage of blood on the floor. Nuria remembers the five steps. Step 1. Cordon the spillage off. Nuria carefully moves Brian in the chair and places wet floor notices around the spillage. Step 2. Assess the type of spillage. Nuria goes over to the sluice area consults the algorithm which is on the wall and assesses the spillage by asking the following questions. Is the spillage on soft furnishings or carpet? No, it is on a hard surface. Is the spillage blood, bloodstained fluid or other bodily fluid? Yes. Nuria can now follow the appropriate steps to successfully manage the spillage. Step 3. Collect the correct equipment. Nuria gathers chlorine-releasing granules, non-sterile disposable gloves and apron, paper towels, general purpose neutral detergent and a healthcare waste bag. Step 4. Protect yourself. Nuria then puts on her gloves and apron. Nuria has assessed that she does not need eye or facial protection as there is no risk of splashing. Step 5. Disinfect and clean. Following the manufacturer's instructions, Nuria applies the chlorine-releasing granules directly to the blood spillage. She wipes up the granules using paper towels and a scoop. She discards all waste into the healthcare waste bag. She washes the area with a solution of general purpose neutral detergent and warm water with paper towels. She dries the area using paper towels and discards these in the healthcare waste bag. She removes her gloves and apron and disposes of them in the healthcare waste bag. Finally, she carries out hand hygiene. Using the algorithm in a care home setting. Hardeep is a care worker in a care home. He walks past Betty, an elderly patient who has a urinary catheter in. Hardeep notices a large spillage of urine on the floor. He investigates and notices the tap on the catheter bag has not been closed correctly, causing urine to leak from the catheter bag onto the floor. Hardeep recalls the five steps. He places physical barriers around the spillage to prevent slippages and harm to other people. He consults the algorithm and assesses the spillage. The spillage is urine on a hard surface. Hardeep knows not to use chlorine releasing agent directly on the urine spillage as it will react with the urine and release chlorine gas. He can now follow the appropriate steps to successfully manage the spillage. For further practical guidance on dealing with blood and bodily fluid spillages, including the algorithm, download the NHS Scotland National Infection Prevention and Control Manual here.
Download or order hard copies of the following booklets for more information on how to manage blood and body fluid spillages.